So let me do another function here. I'm going to say function send data. Now this one will be easy at least. Okay, I'll go back here. So now, first of all, we need to have the data that we are sending in form of a string, right? And then actually we can use this data in form of an object. So we will make sure that we are sending this data in object format here, as long as we are consistent. And then we will need to know the type of data. Now that's important because we need to, uh, the file at the server side is just one file, which needs to know what to do with this data it's receiving. So that's why we're adding type there so that it can decide what to do. Okay, so there we go. Now, as usual, in order to send our data, we need our XML object, Ajax XML object. So I'm going to create one right now. So what I will say is for, so I'm going to call it XML. You can call it anything you want is equal to new X. Uh, in JavaScript, everything is camel case. So it starts with small data. XML H actually in this case the XML is all caps like this then HTTP request like so so we are creating a new XML HTTP request so what we want to do is when it loads we want to act on it so we're going to say XML dot onload and we're going to say is equal to function so we create a function here like so. Okay, so when it loads, we run this uh, anonymous function right here. Now inside this function, there are many states uh, when this thing is loading and so on. There's state one, two, the, uh, many, uh, the, these are called the ready state. So there's one, two, three, and four. So four, uh, each one of those mean different things. So we're going to look at them in, uh, in uh, coming videos. But the one we are looking for is number four because number four means the information has been sent and a response has been uh, brought back. So that's what we want to search for. So we're going to say if XML dot ready state is equal to four, or if the response, of course, XML dot status, which is uh, the response in this case, is equal to 200 because 200 is used to signify that everything is good. 200 is what is returned in the headers of uh, the an HTTP request. So if the server returned a 200, it means everything went well and the ready state is four or any of these two will work just fine. So when that happens, we will get a response. So I'm going to say alert uh, response text XML dot response text like so. All right. Now let's not forget we have to send this data even though we uh, we have to send this data even though we've already started listening for it. So first of all, we listen and then we we send the data. So to send the data, we say xml.open and we want to send this as a post request and we want to send to the file called api.php. And of course, this is a string, so we'll put it in quotes. And this request should be asynchronous. So I'm going to say true. And then the next thing is xml.send. Now, in order to send, we have to send the data that we've received in there. So I will say data, small letter, like so. Alrighty. So this looks uh, well and good. And now, the data also needs to have a type, of course. So at this point, um, we need to stringify this data. So since we are receiving this data as a, a an object, sorry, I will come here and say uh, data dot type 
is equal to and I will add that type that comes with it like so. So as you can see here we are using type maybe we have to be more uh, because we may encounter type somewhere else so instead of type just type here we're just going to say data underscore type this will because in case the data that we are bringing in also has a memory location called type this one has to be unique so we're going to be using data type to signify the type so data type is equal to type okay so there we go so that happened and then what we want to do now is say data uh, is equal to json dot stringify now stringify changes this data into a string so remember that data contains an object so let's do data string so that it's easier to follow so data string and uh, let's put variable here var because we are declaring it now so this one is an object we've just added the type whatever that type is that uh, the, uh, we have specified there and so now we want to get the whole thing and we want to stringify it we change it from an object to a string so let me put data in there now the reason we're changing it to a string is because we cannot send uh, objects and stuff like that through the internet. We can only send strings, which is zeros and ones. So that's why we are converting it into a string with stringify. And then we will send it right there. All right, so now to confirm and we'll alert our response. Now to confirm that everything here is working. Oh, and by the way, we need to call this send data otherwise it won't work we have to call it after the loop here so for loop so once the loop is done let's send the data that we've received and here type is going to be uh, sign up that's what we will call it right okay so very good now let's go back to our folder here my chat and let's go to api.php and drag it in here. So at, at this point we want to get, but first of all, let's see if we will get a response at all, right? So let me save this before we do anything. And then let me type a few things here and hit sign up. And we got a response. Let me try that again. Okay, I hadn't refreshed it, uh, so that was definitely not a response from the web server because in the server we have this. That's what we're supposed to get. Okay, so what's happening here is that the page is refreshing. So what I need to do now, that's because if I go back here, there is, uh, this one is a submit button. So let me change that to button instead of submit so that it doesn't submit the content. So let me refresh that again. Okay, so now because the, uh, what's this? The styles we're targeting a submit button. So I will change this to button. Okay, that should bring back our styles, good. Okay, so there we go. Uh, let's add some stuff here and hit sign up. So nothing is happening. So let's go to inspect our element here and the console isn't showing any errors either. So something is definitely wrong here. So let me see what's happening. Send data. Okay, so let's come here at this point and see if uh, we do get to this point. Oh, maybe this should be actually outside here. I'm not sure anymore. XML. Oops, let's see if that's what's actually. Uh, okay, there we go. So that was my bad. 
so i'm not supposed to put this uh this stuff inside the onload so just move that out of there yeah I, I don't know how i missed that one so the onload is only for the response okay so there we go so now uh sign up and printed data from the server so now that we have this file at the server, the API, we want to be able to collect the data that was sent here instead of giving us uh, this thing here. So in order to do this, what we want to do is say uh, data is equal to, so now this is PHP, of course. We are switching to some PHP. So we are going to use the get file contents. Now, the reason we are doing get file content, there are several ways to get this data. Like I mentioned before, at this point, after we open the XML, we can define the type of data that we want to send on the next line here. We can say XML dot uh, content type or something like that, or dot header is equal to content type and so on. So once we change that content, you could use the post request you can send the data as a normal form, as if it was a form, if you change that type. So we may do that in another video, but in this case, we are sending this as raw data. So we are just going to use the file get contents like so. So let me go to the end file get contents. Oh, sorry, my bad. It's file get contents like so. So instead of a file name, we're just going to say, uh, PHP input like this. I hope this is actually correct. If I'm not mistaken. So what I will do now is simply echo the data. All right. So let's see if that actually works. Syntax error, unexpected online three, right? So let's go back here and say where the syntax error is on line three. So I think this one should be in uh, quotes, like so. Okay, so let's try that again. Object, object. Hmm. All right, so when we click here, we are looking at this that says uh, object, object. So meaning, we are getting the communication that we want, but we are getting the result of an object. Okay, so since the server here is simply echoing what has been brought in, it means our problem is with our JavaScript. So let me come here and see what's going on. All right, so the issue here is that instead of sending data here, we're supposed to be sending the data string, the one that we've stringified. So let me put that one there. Okay, so now we don't need to refresh the page. We can simply click. Oh, we do actually need to say, uh, refresh the page since we've edited our JavaScript. So let me add some passwords there and sign up. All right, so now we have the good stuff. So all this is coming from the server now. So which means we have this data at the server here. Now, the reason I... Uh, used objects is because we can use objects on both sides so what i could do instead of echoing this data what i can do is i can uh, say data is equal to json uh, decode here and data like so so that we decode the data into an object as well here so it left the javascript as an object here we stringified it and then when we come here, so stringifying here is just like encoding. And then when we come here, we get the string and convert it back to an object, which is called decoding. So in order to preview that, we can use the function print readable and say data at this point. Now, in order for us to see it in a better way, we have to use the echo three tags as usual just so we get a nicer view. Oh, forgot the closing tag, like so. And let's move this down here. 
save and let's hit that button okay so there we go so now we have this is called a standard class object and this is what we have we have password one two gender username and also the data type is equal to sign up very good and very awesome so in the coming video we're going to see how we can use this data to do something useful all right so i will see you in the next video hope you've learned something in here see you then